Hi everyone! I'm here to show you how easy it is to run a Monte Carlo simulation. To get started, we'll open the Monte Carlo simulation tool. We'll use this simulation to determine the force generated by a spring in an assembly. First, we'll enter an input, choose a distribution, and enter parameter values. Then, we'll add more inputs. Because we're modeling a dimensional stackup that determines the compressed length of the spring, we'll enter a response labeled spring gap. Use the equation editor to enter it manually. If you have specification limits, you can enter them here. If not, you can add them later. As you add inputs and specify output equations, you'll see representations of each model here. A quick glance lets you know if you set up your simulation correctly. That's helpful when working with multiple or complex models. You can also define your model by importing DOE or regression models from a Minitab project. Click Import Models from Minitab, or click the Import Models button. You can use a Minitab project that you saved as a related document, or you can browse to a Minitab project that is saved on your computer or on a network. Choose any number of models in the project and click Import. The Monte Carlo simulation tool seamlessly imports the X variables and the response equation from the Minitab project. When setting up your models, sometimes it's easier to separate functions into groups, especially if you have multiple equations. The function we already set up represents the assembly that holds the spring. Let's create a group called Assembly by clicking Create Group. After you create a group, you can view just the inputs and outputs of your model, or you can view it as the function. Next, let's create a group called Spring and enter inputs for free length and spring rate. If you're not sure of an input's distribution, you can choose Use Data to decide. Then, open the CSV file that contains spring rate data from a sample of springs measured in the lab. Select the column you want to analyze and click Recommend Distribution. While many distribution fit actions are possible, three are shown, with the largest one being the best fit. When you accept a distribution, the estimated parameters are entered automatically. Now, let's add a response for spring force, which is the spring constant multiplied by the deflection of the spring in the final assembly. Click all groups to see how the inputs and outputs from different groups relate to each other. Again, you can choose between two views of your model. Click the tabs to view the individual groups. Let's click Simulate now to perform the simulation. Results of the initial simulation appear with additional details available when you expand the More Results section. Click the tabs to see individual models. Click all groups to see the results from every model in one place. Based on your results, an appropriate follow-up action in the Next Steps section is recommended. If you perform the simulation without specification limits, the Monte Carlo simulation tool suggests you add them as a next step. If you included specification limits and process capability is below accepted levels, the Monte Carlo simulation tool suggests proceeding with parameter optimization. If capability is above 1.67, the Monte Carlo simulation tool suggests a sensitivity analysis. If you want to change the assumptions or if you made an error, just click Edit Model and rerun the analysis. Context sensitive help is available if you need additional guidance for the best course of action. Now, let's look at how the Monte Carlo simulation tool handles parameter optimization. 
Parameter optimization identifies settings for the controllable inputs that can improve your process depending on your goal. First, define your goal, such as to target a particular mean value, to minimize percent out of spec or DPMO, or to maximize CPK. Then, define the search range. Based on your process, specify settings for an input parameter so the Monte Carlo simulation tool won't suggest settings that you can't achieve. For example, you might not be able to set an oven's thermostat below 100 degrees or above 500 degrees. Check noise if an input is out of your control. For example, outdoor temperature. After entering all the inputs, click Optimize Parameters. The Monte Carlo simulation tool identifies optimized input settings and shows you the improvement you can expect to see if you use them. After you perform a parameter optimization, the results are added to the project manager. Next, we'll take a look at sensitivity analysis. A sensitivity analysis shows the effect of changing input variation on your response. It can help you decide when it's worth the time and money to reduce the variability of an input, and when it isn't. This graph shows the effect of changing the variation of a single input while holding the others constant, and then estimating the effect on the response y. The x-axis represents the percent of change in variation. The y-axis represents the standard deviation or the percent out of spec if you have specification limits for the response. Each line represents an input. To view a single input, click here. For example, you can see that if you were able to reduce the standard deviation of this input, you would also substantially reduce the percent out of spec. By contrast, this input is essentially a flat line, indicating that changes in the variation of the input would have little effect on process capability for better or for worse. Change any of the input settings you like and perform the simulation again with these new parameters. As with parameter optimization, sensitivity analysis shows you the improvement you can expect to see if you use the new settings, and it adds the results to the project manager. You can export your simulation by right-clicking the simulation tool in the project manager. You can export the results and graphs as a PDF, or you can send them to Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. To export the simulated data, ensure that the results appear and then choose the CSV file option. For more information and videos, go to www.minitab.com.